happens now? Are you gonna come back? I don't have anywhere else to go. I'm in a mess of things. things but but I saw you two together and you look so happy I just wanted to see the two men could have that could share that I know it's not the Lord's design but I don't think I could live any other way I'm sorry Proud of you too, right? Yeah. How'd you like to own it? On what? This. <laughs> yeah, um, in case you haven't noticed, I don't look like a Cooper or something. Hey, times change. You want it yours. You serious? Yep. I don't know what to say. Talk to him. Were you skipping town or something? Let's just say uh, there's something in it for both of us. Jude called me. I'm surprised you didn't tell me about Lester. Did Gail blame me for him, too? She was upset. You mean obsessed? Did you come here to make me wrong? No. I came here to see who you were. But it looks like you're doing just fine. Lester's back. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Mark? Yeah. Better come on in. You're right there. I'm leaving town. I'll try Arizona for a while, maybe even LA. Really? Him say goodbye. All right. And there's uh, there's something important I want you to know, Gail. I'm not broken. I don't know why I ever expected you to change. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with woman, both of them have committed an abomination and shall surely be put to death. 
stop it. And just four lines before that, this is what it says. Any person who curses his father or mother shall therefore be put to death. This is not a game, Scott. God is not a game. Have you ever really listened to those words, Gail? Jesus never said anything about homosexuality. You don't negotiate your way to salvation. Goodbye, Scott. Have you ever really looked at yourself? I mean, not through your boys, but looked without, without anything in the way. Why are you doing this? What gives you the right to accuse me of anything? Gail, you're not as strong as you think, and you're not really giving. You can't handle mess. Things need to be neat and tidy for you, but life is not like that. Now, I don't know what it is to lose a child, but I know what it is to have a parent so full of hate that they go to their death damning rather than loving. Is that what you really believe in? You really think you can convince me that you're going to reason with me and change my mind about what I know is right? I know love is right. I know love is good. Mark, let's go inside. Mark? The other night when I was holding Lester, I felt what I was capable of. I felt the love that I had. I feel that every single time I look at him. I found something here. But it's not here anymore. That's not true. There's nothing but love for you here. In my heart, in all our hearts, that world out there, the one he wants to take you into, and nearly killed you. Remember how sick you were? You don't want to have that happen again. Think about how far you've come. Don't lose the path. You have the light. You remember what we said that day in the car? When we sat together just to us? Remember how that felt? I know who you are. I know how to keep you safe. Ted, stay out of this. You gotta let him go. He's not Ryan. <laughs> Ryan is gone. This is him. We can't let these boys go to sin. You can't save him, Gail. He's got to do it himself. Just let go. You let this happen? You saw this and you let this happen? Maybe I did. It's okay. It's all right. some time to say goodbye to the guys. Yeah. I was raised to believe there are consequences in this world. And the judge of our actions, while we'd like to believe it's us, is God. Genesis is an expression of my faith. It's a labor of my love. I've tried to make myself right with my son through my commitment there. Ryan. <clears throat> Ryan came to me when he was 16 and he said he was gay. He said he did not want to change, that he did not want to live right by the Lord. And I told him to leave my house because I was not going to have that under my roof. 